this one is kind of scary. Is anybody really brave today? I am. No. Yes, no. I am. I don't know if I'm brave. Okay. Who is quietly sitting? Hands in their laps. Thank you, love. Big smiles on their faces. There might be two helpers for this one because it is so scary. Um, let's see, I picked a girl, I picked a boy, I picked a girl. I think I need to pick a boy this time. It's too hard to choose. All right, um, there's a guy in a green sweatshirt right there. He looks very brave. Come on up here. Everybody give him a big clap. Hey. Now, I want you girls to know that I didn't pick him because he was a boy. I just picked him because he was... Uh, it was different from my last help. Um, girls are just as brave as boys are, right? Sure they are. They're very good. What's your name, sir? We've met before. Give me knuckles. How old are you now? Four. Forty-four years old. Okay. Yeah! I know, I know. Now, this one is a little scary. Is it okay if you help me with a little scary one? I'll tell you why. Okay? Um, because kids, kids are scared of balloons. And it's very scary. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Kids are scary of blue. Is that what you scary? Are you guys scared of this? Yeah. No. Are you scared of this? No. Are you sure? No. I thought kids were scared of blue. You're not scared at all? No. You guys are not scared at all? No. Okay. I thought kids were scared of blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Kids are scared of balloons. All right, I'm gonna need another helper. I think you helped me last week. Would you come be my helper again? Thank you very much. You're gonna be his assistant. And what did the kids call you again? Miss Josie. Miss Josie will be over here. Everybody give Miss Josie a big clap. Yeah. Yeah. I brought Miss Josie up as your helper because she can handle it. Oh. Look at that. She's not even flinching. Everybody give her a big clapping hand. This is the part. Would you hold on to that for me? Sir? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that was silly. Okay. Well, I'm not going to blow it up that hard. I'm only going to blow it up a tiny, tiny bit. That way it's not too scary, okay? All right. Now, this is the balloon of danger. His name is Bob the Balloon of Danger. I'm going to draw his face on it. Here we go. As you can see, it's very scary, right? Is that looking scary or what? Ladies and gentlemen, Bob the Balloon of Danger. <laughs> Very scary. Okay, now comes the crazy part. I've got some cards here, and what we're going to do is just have you pick one of them. Can you pick any one you want? It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter if there's two of the same in this, because all we're going to do is pick one. Got, oop, got it? Okay, very good. Show it to everybody. All right, show it to everybody. It's a two. It's got diamonds on it. All right, now here's why we needed a big two. Hold on to that. I want you to write Calvin's special magic card on there. Okay. Big, big, so everybody can see it. Now, while she's writing that, um, I'm going to have you watch the card because it's scary. Remember I told you it was scary? I don't want you to do the scary part. She's going to do the scary part. Oh. <laughs> This is the instrument of danger. I keep it in my instrument of danger Altoids box. All right, you are going to reach in and pull out one of the push pins of danger. That's why I picked a big kit. These are pins, they're push pins. And I know it doesn't seem like they're scary, but if your name is Bob the Balloon of Danger, <laughs> right, 
You're going to hold that in your left hand, point it up. All right, dude, are you ready? All right, is this the card with all the writing on it? Can you guys see all the writing on it? Yeah. Now, if it was somebody's birthday, I might write their name on it, but we're here at the Calvin, and we're all going to share it. So this is, is that the card with the writing? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put this under your foot. So all I want you to do is lift up your foot. And then everybody stay seated on your bottom, so stay seated on your bottom, sit down on your bottom. Because this is the part you want to watch. Do you see the card? Do you see the card? Okay, pick up your foot. All right, here it goes. The card goes right under it. Now you stay there. Don't move. That's your job. All right, you got the push bed of danger. I do. Hold it up high. Here we go. One. Are you guys ready? Two. Are you ready? Are you okay? I know it is a little bit scary, but it's mostly scary for her. Let me just bring this. Okay. One. No, I'm only kidding. Two. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm, only kidding. I'm, I'm gonna stay up here. One, two. Now wait a minute. I have to tell you that's not the magic card. Would you pick that up and show it to everybody? Oh. Show it to everybody. One, two, three. Did you pick that up and show it to everybody? Oh, you're not laughing. Everybody give my two helpers a big clap and hand. Okay, so I love this routine because there's really three separate phases to the beginning of this routine. And then I'm going to show you a fourth phase, which is like the kicker, right? Really, the kicker. So the first phase is the inflating the balloon. Inflating the balloon, going up close to the kids as you're blowing them, a bonk in the teacher on the head. So this was a preschool show, which is why I brought the teacher up on stage because the kid's a little bit too shy. He was one of the biggest kids and he was four. Uh, all of a sudden he was too shy to be there. Um, but six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 year olds, let the kid do the popping, right? Uh, because they get, yeah, once they get to the popping part. If I've got an older kid and I'm, and I'm not gonna bring the adult up, I will still do the blowing balloons, gets bigger, 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 then I go in the auto, gets bigger, bigger, bigger and what I'm really doing is working my way over to an adult and then I get to the adult and I go bam 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 and I also scream ah, at that point it's a great bit a lot of laughter go back and listen to the laughter when I'm doing that to the teacher big big laughs then you let it go right um, that's a whole bit in itself right that's a whole bit in itself then you blow it up you make it smaller, it fits under your arm, you draw the face on it. I don't know, you couldn't see it, but it was basically a smiley face, a happy face, the card of danger, right? Um, but all of that really is just to get the balloon under your arm. You know, all of that bit is to get the balloon under your arm. Then you do the card. Normally I would, uh, I would have a kid sign the card. You know, let's say he's signing the King of Hearts. He would sign the card. Um, and then I would bring up another volunteer, a smaller kid, right? So that's why the teacher and the smaller kids work. The smaller kid, it goes under his foot. Here's how you switch the card under the kid's foot, all right? I, I, I have them sign it here on the deck so that it's the bottom card of the deck, all right? I show it around on the bottom of the deck. Then I double lift, meaning I don't take one card off. I don't take the card of danger off. I take two cards off. All right. Uh, just for fun, let me take a black card off so it shows better. All right. So I'm showing that around. Then I grab two cards. And there's plenty of time. Plenty of time to do it. People don't, don't think about it. Now I can show this around, but it's actually two cards, right? It's a double lift is what it's called. Double lift. This is the trickiest trick I'm going to show you probably. The double lift. Now you do have to make sure that you keep it tight. You can hold it like this, right? I like to bend it a little bit. Show it, show it. I like to bring it up to the kid's face. Is that the magic card? Now, remember I set it up earlier that I'm gonna put it under the kid's foot and for them to pick up their, their foot. While I'm holding this, I turn the deck face up. 
So the deck's like this. While they're holding it, I'm holding it, I'm shaking it, I go, is it the card? Then I just lay it on top and I say, pick up your foot, pick up your foot, like I'm opening my hand to do that. Now I put the top card underneath it, but the top card is not their card because of that double lift, all right? Their card is the second card and the top card is the double lift card. So that's the card that goes under the kid's foot. Obviously, you don't want to show them that. You want that to go under the kid's foot. So the card that's been signed is on the top of the deck. Then what I do, you know, it's, you know, this is the move I learned. Any way to do it is fine. I just slide that off with my thumb like that. And I'm holding my, finger, my hand like this. And I just slide it into my hand just like that. Okay, but I'm not doing it. I'm doing it like this. I'm holding it and I'm, and I'm doing it just like that. Now, what I'm doing at the time is I'm telling the kid, make sure that you keep your foot on it. I'm saying, everybody sit down. I'm not paying attention to my hand so that when I load it here, and then the next thing I do is I reach up and grab that balloon. So I load it on my hand. I grab that balloon and now it's hiding behind the balloon the whole time. All right. You guys get that, right? Um, I don't have to, I don't have to actually blow up a balloon. So it's hidden behind the red boon balloon the whole time. So what I'm doing, one, two, three, it's behind the red balloon. One, two, I'll, you know, wait a minute. It's not the card under your foot. Pick it up, show it to everybody. And then when they show it, that's when I pop it. And you have to just be careful. You want to hold it. You don't want to hold it on the top. You kind of want to hold it on the side that it, when it pops, this will flash and then you make sure to let it go. So it's like pop and let go, right? And it'll flutter down like it did in the show. So pop, let go, flutter, flutter, flutter. You want to make that all one motion. Pop, flutter, 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 right? Let it go. Now, a couple things here. Let's talk about the, um, the push pin of danger, okay? So if you've got a kid, see, this is how it's set in my bag. It's a little Ziploc bag with some cards and a push pin of danger and some balloons. That's how it's always set in my bag. It's preset, it's ready to go. When it goes back in, it's ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the push pin of danger. I shake it. All I'm doing is giving them a choice of colors. They can pick whichever color they want. Um, but when, if you're gonna let a kid handle a push pin, notice I told the teacher, put it in your left hand and have it pointed up. Have the kid do the same thing. Hold it in your left hand, put it up. I wanna do that as late as possible, all right? So that you're, they're not messing around with this. Um, and then when I go to do the pop, I'm not just popping it. You'll notice when I grab that teacher's hand, I kind of grabbed her fingers and I grabbed the push pin. So I'm holding her hand and the push pin. One, two, three. So the whole time I'm messing around, I'm holding the fingers with the push pin. <laughs> that's how I keep the kids safe. I control that. One, two, wait, that's not in there. No, it's not. Let's take a look. Now, I don't know how I did it exactly in this show. The teacher, I might've left a little bit alone with it, but a kid, I keep my hand on it the whole time. One, two. And then what happens is when it pops and the card flutters down, I immediately, with this hand, take that push pin away. I don't give him any more time to hold it. So once that pops and the card flutters down, I have the push pin in my hand. Watch the video. You'll see that I did that. I retrieve the push pin immediately. That way there's no chance of the kid dropping it, popping it, any of that kind of thing. So that's how it works. Um, Whole balloon bit, blowing, 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 stick it under your arm. Do the card bit, signing the card, birthday boy, happy birthday. Like if it's a birthday bite, I'll say happy birthday, Alice. And I'll say from Looney Dooney. And I'll put the date. I might give the king a mustache, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, then I show it around, showing, 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 showing. Then I say, all right, you're going to you're gonna hold the card. And I'm now double lift. I double lifted the card. You're going to hold the card under your foot. All right, I turn this face up. You're gonna hold the card under your foot. All right, you ready? Got the push pin of danger? All right, here we go. St put this down, lift up your foot. This card goes down. That card goes under their foot. 
All right, and then I've grabbed the balloon. Hold the push pin. One, two, three, pop. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Um, retrieve the push pin. Let the kid pick up the card. Put the push pin away. Pick up the trash. Thank you, everybody. And you're all done. Except I'm going to add this part. Okay, I did not do this, but this is the kicker. This takes this to a whole different level. All right. So what I'm going to say is if you've got, you know, this takes a little bit more preset is all. But if you've got the, um, just because you have to blow up another balloon, <laughs> I guess that's right. You have to blow up another balloon. But anyway, um, here's how I end it when I want to, when I want to knock the parents out. When I've got a group, like a family group where it's all different ages, teenagers, I love this because anybody that's a big kid gets killed by this, right? I do that whole routine exactly as is. And then I say, you guys want to know how to do it? All right, this is the bit. You know, you guys want to know how to do it? All right, I'll show you how to do it. Let's pick a card. So, the, the, so let's say the kid picked the, the king of uh, hearts, right? Here's what I do it. Um, I blow up the balloons. I have them sign in the king of hearts. Now we're not going to sign the king of hearts because I don't want to waste another card. Okay, we're just use the king of hearts. Um, then uh, remember I, I showed everybody the, king, the, the signed card. This one is the king of what? What is it? King of hearts. Okay. Then I put it under the kid's foot. Now I'm not bringing anybody up there. I'm just describing how the trick went so I can tell them how it's done. I don't tell them this move. I say, uh, what I do is I pretend to put it under the kid's thing, but what I actually do is I hide it somewhere on my body. Now I'm standing up. I want you guys to see it. I say, I hide it somewhere on my body. All right, where do you think it is? Where is it hidden? Then I'll go like this. Where do you think it's hidden? Does there anybody know where it's hidden? And they'll start saying, in your hand, in your hand. I'll say, no, 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 it's not in my hand. They'll say, yes, it's in your hand. I'll say, no, it's not in my hand. They'll say, it's in your other hand. I'll say, no, it's not in my other hand. It's not in my other hand. They'll say, oh, yes, it is. I say, oh, yes, there it is. All right, you got me. So that's what I did. I hid it behind my hand. But in truth, remember, I did not teach them the double lift. I just told them that I somehow switched cards. All right? Um, then I took and I held the balloon and I held it like this. Remember I had the balloon of danger? The balloon of danger was hiding this. Does everybody understand this? Now here's where it goes a little different. I said, do you, get, do you guys get it? And I act like the little kids are not getting it. I said, all right, I tell you what, I blew up a clear balloon. All right, I have a clear balloon right over here. All right, and what I'm going to do, can you see it? Can you see it? There it is. Okay, so remember I had the balloon. I had the clear balloon, I had to put, and I did one, two, I showed them that it wasn't there, but you see where it is? It's right, yeah, okay, one, two. Now, I have to ask you this question. Did anybody notice me pushing it, pushing it like this? I did push it for one second, because when you push it, the card drops inside of there, because it wouldn't be a magic trick if the card wasn't actually in the balloon. You're not clapping. <laughs> So I learned this trick, this routine-ish, from a guy named uh, Kevin James, who is a famous Las Vegas magician. He was teaching us a seminar at one of the Ronald McDonald seminars that I went to at Ronald McDonald University in Chicago. He did this exact routine. Uh, he has a different gimmick, I'll tell you about that, but uh, he did this exact routine for us and it killed, it was great. Um, then I modified it for myself um, I was, I'm cheap, right? I'm come from the clown world. So clowns are cheap. And I, uh, figured out how to do it without the $70 gimmick that he used. Okay. Um, but, uh, it's a great routine. Trust me. It's a great routine. I'll, I'll show you how to do it, but, um, all you have to do. All right. I'll go ahead and tell you how to do it. Let's go ahead and tell you how to do it. All you have to do is take three cards any three cards, doesn't matter. Your target card, you just have to remember what it is. You can use any card of the deck, but you know, you know, so you're gonna burn a deck by doing this. But you know, I'm a magician, I have decks cards all over the place. You glue these together. Uh, all I did was take a glue stick and I glued all three together, okay? Now, while they're drying, I took a balloon animal, you could take a, 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 a rubber band, 
and you want to give it a little bend like this as it's drying. You want it to naturally dry like this. So it's got that little curve in it, right? If you look at the one inside here, it's got that little curve in it, right? It, kind of hard to see, there we go. It's got that curve in it. The reason being but then is because then it fits on the edge of the balloon a little bit better, all right? See how I'm holding it there? Now, when you get, you've done the whole routine, you get to that part, you might look through the thing until you find the king of hearts. Look through the deck of cards so you find the king of hearts, but you're just talking to the audience. Would you guys like to learn how to do it? And you put that king on the bottom. Now you pretend that was the one that signed. Nobody knows that you chose the king on purpose, but you did, right? You go through the whole explanation, how we did it, I hid it under your foot, I pretended to stick it under your foot, but what I really did was hit it on my hand. No, it's not in my hands. It's not in my hands. Oh, it is in my hand. Okay, I hit it under the, the red balloon, under the red balloon. Do you, can you guys picture that in your mind? So you're pretending that the kids don't get it, so you have to use the clear balloon. What you're really doing is you have that clear balloon hidden with the card loaded already in it, right? And when you reach over, you drop the real king, and you grab the balloon with the card inside of it. Nobody will ever question that you switched it. In their minds, you just picked up a clear balloon. When you do this drop, people go nuts. The kids like it, but the adults go nuts. So, there you go, my card in the balloon trick with the kicker. Now I'm also gonna have to show you how to get the card into the balloon, so that's next, and I'll talk a little bit about Kevin James's gimmick. See you later. All right, what I'm gonna do is put the card, the gimmicked card that I made inside one of these balloons. It's not easy. You have to stretch this, stretch this, and then stick it in, okay? And it's gonna squish it. Right? It's going to give it a hard time. You have to make sure not to cut the balloon with the corner of the card while you're doing it. But with a little practice, try to keep this up on the screen, you can eventually get it in. Okay, come on, you can do it. There we go. See, it's kind of a pain in the butt, right? But then once you get it, you can unbend that a little bit. Get it back to the original bend. Okay, so you don't want it to be too big. And you want it to be kind of round, like the red ones. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, all you have to do is when you grab the balloon, when you grab the edge of the balloon, you grab it like that. And you've got the card in between the balloon and inside your hand. All right. It looks like you're holding that card behind the balloon, just like that. One, two, three, you push it, let it go, bounce it around inside there. And trust me, uh, anybody watching is going to be wondering how the hell you did that. This is a great bit. I love this bit. And the only difference between my version and uh, um, Kevin James's version is that he had a metal shim card, a metal card, and he had a magnet on his finger, right? And he would hide the magnet and he would, he would hold it with the, the metal, uh, with the magnet. And then when he dropped it down, he would move it up to the very corner of the card and it would dangle inside the balloon. And that's a pretty good move. I mean, that is pretty darn good. But I, it's not necessary, right? This totally works, okay? So, uh, card inside the balloon as a kicker. Here's why I'm showing this to you. Here's the deal. I did the card in the balloon for years without this. Then I did it a few times. This is one of those points where, see, the kids start to expect you to be great. They start expecting you to be doing really magic, right? Magicians can do anything. Adults know better. And when you drop that card down into the balloon, 
the adults go, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, they, they immediately jump. They're like, wah, wah. So the kids are like, yay, we're having a good time. But the adults, their eyes are bulging. They're going, ah, ah. I love that. All right. Have a great day. Uh, the card in the balloon. The card of danger.